so the second thing to talk about is from a holistic perspective how healing can get stuck and literally is stuckness because what happens with trauma from this more holistic mind body soma kind of perspective is that trauma gets stuck with some officially called perturbations and these perturbations are kind of like alive they vibrate around it's like um like a grid of sand the trauma is a grid of sand and the energy system accommodates around it in bigger and bigger and bigger ways and it kind of it's just stuck there and what you do to get it unstuck is you have to work energetically and access it energetically like with tapping other things that can happen is that it gets stuck not just in the energy field around your body but actually in your body i remember my first exposure to this i'll be honest with you it totally freaked me out all right I hadn't had any exposure to any energy, anything whatsoever. I was just a massage therapist, okay? And I was working on this woman's leg, and she had brown hair. Uh, and I'm working on her leg, and I get up to her knee. And I get the flash of a little blonde girl, about seven or eight, on a horse, having the horse jump over a fence. And everything else went normally in the rest of the massage. And I told her afterwards, like, look, it was just so strong that came to me. I just had to tell you. And I told her what I saw, and she was like, no. I'm like, what? She's like, no, you didn't. I'm like, well, what was it? And she said that actually, when she was seven or eight, she didn't remember, that she did used to ride horses, and she did have an accident when she was jumping a horse over a fence, and, and she even had blonde hair when she was little. It had slowly gone darker as she aged. Again, I was totally freaked out. I had no idea what was going on. Obviously, I knew something was stuck in her knee that is now released, because then I went and massaged it again, and I didn't get the flash up, and she experienced it differently as well. And so that was my first exposure to this. And it's very much the case all in the body. And so when something happens, if we get punched, the punch is still in the body, kind of energetically reverberating, like a standing energetic wave, until it gets released. And so, Part of the job of energy work is to get in there and remove the perturbations so the energy system can flow again, whether that's through meridians or just have proper flows through the organs or in the field itself. Okay, that's all. Bye for now.